Hello everyone, I am back and as you can see, I have my sweet potatoes peeled and I cut off any dark spots. I bake them, I like to bake them as opposed to boiling, they retain a little more flavor. So I'm gonna mix these first with my hand mixer and I bake these on 400 covered for two hours. Let me get these mixed and I'll be back. When you finish mixing, you want to take your beaters off and rinse them to get all the strings off of them. It took me about three or four, four go-rounds to remove all the strings. That's one thing you don't want for sure, and that is stringy pies. And it's relatively easy to remove the strings, so that's one thing you look for if you when you make sweet potato pies. To mention that my ingredients are room temp, except my butter's melted. Next, I'm going to add a stick of butter. It's to be seen whether or not I'm going to put that other half a stick in there. Because, you know, it depends on how many potatoes. A cup of white sugar. Then we have our cinnamon nutmeg. I've got a pinch of salt, a little ginger, a little baking powder. I'm going to add that. I'm going to give these beaters one more rinse. I don't know if you can see those, see those strings. When you feel like you've beaten your um, pie filling sufficiently, scrape down the sides of the bowl um, before each mixing to make sure all your ingredients are incorporated thoroughly. Next, I'm going to add my room flavor. Why not? I'm going to do two tablespoons of the rum and hold on. Tablespoon of vanilla, my Mexican vanilla. All right. Can I tell you that rum is bringing out those flavors, honey? Okay, I have a cup of eggnog. I'm gonna start with half a cup because you know I formulate these recipes as I'm cooking. For those of you who follow me, you know. I'm gonna start with this. And then if I need to add more. Make sure you look in the description box for below the video for the full list, um, the accurate measurements and a list full list of ingredients. Like I said, I formulate these recipes while I am making making my um, my treats or whatever I'm cooking. So I tweak them when I'm finished so that when you guys try my recipes, you get the best version possible. So make sure you look in the description box. Go ahead on and add another half a cup of sugar, this time brown sugar. I'll be back once this is mixed. So I'm gonna add a third of a cup sugar more and I think this should be perfect. And a little bit more vanilla, just a little bit more. But baby, that rum did a little something to me. Woo! It tastes good in there. Let's mix this and let's give this a final taste before we add our eggs. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. I think I outdid myself on this one, you guys. I'm going to mix it a little more. And then I'm going to add two eggs. I'll be right back in a little evaporated milk if I need to. Next, I'm going to add two beaten eggs, and I'll be back. Hey, lovelies, I wish that you could smell this pie filling. I'm going to add one cup of eva evaporated milk, and then she'll be ready for the pie filling. Oh, and I almost forgot, almost forgot, people, and two one tablespoon of flour, not two, one. I didn't put the second tablespoon of flour in there. You know, um, look in the description box below the video for the full, like final measurements of everything. Let me mix this and I'll be right to show you before I proceed that there aren't any strings left on my beaters. So that means there are no strings in the pot. All right, people, 
Next, we're going to fill the pie crust. I have enough for the you guys. Let's move this and let's see. Yeah, I think this is enough for three pies. What was I thinking? Spread them out to the edges. I'm not gonna blind bake my crust. I'll be back though, I'm gonna get my second pie crust filled. My pies are out of the oven. They are still jiggly in the middle. That's okay, the cracks are going to when the pie settles. They'll fill in, so those will be in there. I'm gonna let those cool overnight. And we will cut them in the morning. And I will see you tomorrow. The next day. Look at the end result. I'm not gonna cut it because I'm giving it away. But, uh, man, that eggnog is good in there. And so is that rum extract. Anyway, if you like my vibe, go ahead and touch subscribe. It's free. Comment, like, and share. Touch the notification bell. Touch all and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Look at that perfection. Anyhow, I'll see you guys next time.